everyone who knew 20-year-old Norbert Mawuli of Cameroon knew he was a very talented soccer player. But two years ago, he fell during a match and injured his shoulder and arm. The pain was focused in my shoulder, but it also radiated down my arm. It was painful even to move my arm. For months, he could barely move the arm at all. Even the simplest tasks, like helping his mom carry water from the community well, became impossible, even using his other arm. The pain was so severe it felt like someone was hitting me with a hammer or a stick. I would scream out in pain and have to stop whatever I was doing. Finally, the arm became frozen in place with very limited range of motion. When I put on or remove my shirt, for example, I had to lean my arm against a table just to get the sleeve on, and it would hurt so much that I would scream out in pain. I am right-handed. I use my right hand for everything. After a year with the pain, I started to think that I would be an invalid for the rest of my life. My life was over. Then one year of pain and limited use of his arm turned into two years of constant agony. My father died a year before my injury, and now I was an invalid dependent on my mother. I got depressed. I stayed inside all the time. I didn't want to go outside or even go to school. Norbert had heard that the Sifan Gospel Crusade had come to his hometown of Yawunde, Cameroon. In the crowd of 200,000 people, he was caught up in the singing and the preaching. Then Daniel Kalenda began to pray. No more stiffness in your joints. No in your neck, in your elbows, in your shoulders, in your wrists, in your knees, in, in your toes, in your fingers. The pastor started to pray. He told us to put our hands on ourselves. When I did that, the pain actually got worse, so much that I almost stopped praying. Be healed, be healed in Jesus' name. Crippled arms, be healed in Jesus' name. All of a sudden, I felt this intense heat in my arm and shoulder where I'd been injured. The next thing I felt was like something broke loose in my shoulder and the pain suddenly disappeared. That's when I started swinging my arm and moving it around like I couldn't do before. I said hallelujah, amen, amen and I was moving and dancing around. In the space of less than one minute, Norbert was set free from two years of agonizing pain and now he could freely move his arm and shoulder. I'm so happy to have my life back. I was limited in what I could do. Now I can do everything I couldn't do before, like carry water for my mom. And I plan to resume my training in soccer too. I'm really excited about that. And Norbert was quick to acknowledge who it was healed him. I'm grateful to Jesus Christ because normality has returned to my life. I was so dead and limited in what I could do before. Now I can stand up and do everything. I thank God for what he did for me.